So right now, at this moment, I'm waiting for the police to come. But I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. I got fucking scammed, bro. So we linked up. Basically what happened, right? I'm trying to buy a PS4. I'm trying to buy like a PS4, right? And uh, moral of the story, he gave me a PS3. So we, we meeting up at Family Fair. And you know, his he was like, oh, my girlfriend's gonna come and give it to you. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like, I just got off the clock. <sighs> Mm. But BJ brought up a good point That the universe did not want me to buy this And it was trying to tell me something Because I was trying to take money out of my ATM It kept on telling me wrong pin So it kept telling me no, 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 no And We get here And then Like I got scammed Like the world was telling me Like I shouldn't have bought it This is the bag he gave me it and so I'm right now I'm waiting for the police to come so I can get my money but just to show y'all like I'm not fucking lying PS3 like what the yeah, fuck I forgot to mention um, I'm gonna give you a little background because I didn't really tell the story basically I meet up to buy this PS4 on the Facebook marketplace and I'm really dumb when it comes to like stuff like this and I'm no longer gonna do this but I had handed her the money and then I was gonna like you know check the bag and she said uh can we make this quick and i was like yeah so I, before i even handed the money she said that because uh i guess the dude who i was buying the fucking ps4 from said his girlfriend was gonna meet me there because he couldn't be there for some reason then i give her the money and i'm looking in the bag i'm like hold on let me uh put this on the bench so i can look at this better and then as soon as me and my friend Jameson look in the bag and we see it's a PS3 she's gone she's running like a jog kind of and we see this dude and the kid like looking like all confused and I'm chasing after her I'm like yo yo stop and then uh he's like oh why are you chasing after that girl and I was like bro she just scammed me and he's like scam you that's my cousin she told me to watch out for her He's like, oh man, why does he do this shit? And I was like, I had looked at his profile before who I was buying from. And he he had some pictures and I was like, man, hold up, you're the dude. And he was in denial saying it wasn't him. And I kept on saying, I'm like, bro, it's you. And it was him. And he just kept on saying, oh, that's my cousin. Man, this is stupid. I'm going to go figure that out. Stay here. And I'm like, I'm not staying here. So I go and I chase after her while he walking. He trying to act like he ain't doing nothing wrong. They go to the shelter and I have a friend named Darian who was working security there. Uh, I went in there and you know, I tell, I, she goes and hides and uh, I go in there and she's, she's like hiding, right? And once I tell security what happened, they're trying to talk there and she's like, I'm not giving them no money. So they tell me, you know, call the cops. Um, and then she comes out while I'm waiting in there for a little bit. And then the, this one girl, who was watching all this happen like me talking security she was just talking stuff about the other girls like man she need to get a fucking job or you know she need to stop scamming both of them the dude and the girl because they was in a relationship that was his uh they had a kid and that was you know the family but he had just lied to me because i guess he didn't want to get in trouble like fighting and uh yeah like she was just saying they both need to get a fucking job you know what i'm saying they're like they're living in a shelter and that girl i heard her and she's like, oh, if you got something to say, say it in my face. And then, here's the video clip. And then from there, uh, the manager told us for the safety of other families in the shelter that uh, we had to leave. And 
that's when I started recording all of this and started making a follow. Fuck. Well, that's a fucking cop. Are you turning in there? No. Wait. Right, go see if they pulling in. Go see. Man, he pulled in. Oh, he pulled in. So we got the cops right there right now. All right, hurry up, pull in. Wait. No, he's pulling in right now. Just go pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in with him. Pull in, go. Shit. Middle of the story and the cops are just pulling up. God damn. Fucking time. I called him at 640. It's like 8 807. Right. Yeah. Get out, get out, get out. Just to prove to y'all I'm not lying. Yeah. Shit right there. So this shit crazy, y'all. Uh police right here trying to trying to fix it right now um and they, they basically the people who own like this facility saying uh we can't let your police in and the police are like what the heck like why can't y'all let me in if this is a crime and they're like oh we can't let you in so right now the police are trying to figure out what to happen and then whatever happens happens so hopefully i get my money back but i'll keep y'all updated so i ain't get my shit back but uh But uh, he gave me this police report, told me to follow up in the morning, so hopefully I get my shit in. But oh, I'm gonna scrap if I don't get my money, bro. No, bro, they they. How is it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's RCC. But uh, it's Thursday. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, I'm in a pretty good mood actually. Uh, even though I got scammed and shit, you know, uh, we're not promised a tomorrow, so every day's a blessing, honestly, guys. Uh, but today is a very busy day. I gotta go to the courthouse and, uh, you know, do my probation stuff. I gotta talk to my probation officer, sign up for, like, community service jobs I gotta do. Uh, after that, I gotta, what else do I have to do? Oh, I have to go to the drug, drug test place and pee in a cup. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I have to go to the police department and do something after I give them a call. And basically, pretty busy day. So, we're going to see how it does goes today. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, another thing, uh, Friday, it's a silent disco. Um, I'm going to throw up the flyer right there. You guys are welcome to come. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be slappy. It's silent disco. If you don't know what silent disco is, basically you wear a headset and it has about two to three channels. I think there's two this time, but they have a uh, DJ. DJ is you know switching between different channels, so you can listen to channel one. And if you don't want to hear that music, go to channel two. And basically, you know, you're just bumping the music, and everyone's just having a good time. And I really wish you guys come. And if you do, say what's up to me. And uh, say what's up to uh, the president of the youth council, Javon. So, yeah. Come through, guys. So, I just got done uh, doing my errands. And uh, basically, I had a lot of thought, right? So, I haven't came, I haven't, like, they haven't decided what's going to happen yet with my money. So, in conclusion, like, Let's say worst case scenario, they get away with 110. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a really nice guy, and you know I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was really mad. I was like, man, like, why are there people like this in the world that like does shit like this? You know, and uh, end of the day, like, you know, he he does have a kid and he got a wife. You know, at least he's. At least they're getting money, you know? Like, yeah, it fucking sucks that they scam me, but, I, I mean, they got a kid, like, they got a feed, so. 
and like if they really needed that hundred and ten dollars then so be it like to me I'm I'll get a hundred and ten dollars another time but that's a lot of money still but if he needs it more than I do then I guess like he can he can have it. you know and my am I like I think like God knows what's gonna happen and you know if he thinks they deserve that hundred and ten dollars more than I do then you know obviously they'll have it but I still gotta see what happens with uh the police report um and other news uh I mean on the bright side I always think positive guys so I mean yeah PS3 fucking sucks like I had PS3 and I mean I got Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, FIFA Street, Banger Games, so like, it's alright, like I'll play that, like meanwhile, like you know, like, since I got a system now, but, uh, it's honestly whatever now, I just hope I get my money back, if not, God knows what's gonna happen, and uh, you know, if he thinks they deserve the money more than I do, then you know, so be it. But I just, I always got to think positive, guys, because, you know, they can't, you can't always put negative energy in the air because you're just going to receive it back from always down and stuff. It's it's just going to affect on others and that's going to come back to you. So bring in positive, stay positive, keep your head up at all times. That's what you really need to do. Um, but, yeah, you know, hopefully the best situation works out you know i i trust god it's gonna handle it good I'm just debating when, wait, that was last time Baptized, let's beat again, pass I repeating in Chastise me the end, till the world gone, hear the kid I'm trying to leave an impact for my last name I beat this game's ass, leaning like the Amway It's a damn shame, carrying my own world Holding it in both hands like a Max Payne The mid-wage, they go stack chips Got a boss 